Hey guys, game back again with another installment of Android in my Escalade. Uh, but today I'm going to talk to you more about the details around how I got it working, what was installed, how I was controlling it. Uh, I already have a couple of videos on YouTube about functionality, showing it working, showing Pandora, Netflix, Sling Player, that kind of stuff. So if you want to see that, please go to those videos and check it out. Today I'm going to talk to you about some things I do in the truck and how I can control it. Here is the one of the devices I was using to control it. This is the Mezi U12. It's a keyboard touchpad device all in one. Uh, it's got mouse buttons over here on the left side, along with the directional pad, a power button up here, which acts more like a standby button. It just works through USB, uh, through wireless USB, and that's how I was controlling the device. What got me thinking about this whole application altogether was a stick I had bought in the past. This is just an Android TV stick. Uh, it's just got Android 4.0 on it. It's on a stick. Uh, you just plug it in the HDMI port, hook up uh, that Mezi U12 to the USB port of this, and then you got Android on your TV. This had me thinking about how could I do this in my vehicle. This is an HDMI uh, and is not practical for what I wanted to do in my truck. Uh, HDMI requires, in order to output through RCA, it requires a digital to analog converter, which requires an external power source. I have an inverter installed in my truck permanently, but I didn't want to use a converter like that and just add more wires into my vehicle. I already have enough wires in there as it is from stuff I've had hooked up in the past and currently have hooked up. So I didn't want to go that route and adding another device that's plugged into my vehicle. So I started looking around to see if I could find something uh, a little more practical, and I did. This device here. Um, as you can see, it looks a lot like the one I just showed you. There are some slight differences. Um, this is the MK812. Uh, one of the things you'll notice right here on the back is a camera. Yes, it has a 2 megapixel camera. I don't know why, but I mean, I guess if you wanted to use Skype or something in your vehicle or home, you could use this uh, connected to a TV through HDMI. But anyway, this is an Android device. This runs Android 4.1. Uh, it's powered by a rock chip. RK3066 dual core A9 processor has about a gig of RAM, about 8 gigs of storage, it's powered by micro USB, uh, has a micro SD card slot, microphone. This is a recovery button, I believe, here. Uh, has a USB dongle plugged in the back from the Mezi tablet or keyboard touchpad device I showed you earlier. And one of the major differences between this and the device I just showed you besides the fact that they both output HDMI, is the fact that this one has this plug here on it. Uh, as you can see next to the HDMI, there's a three and a half millimeter port. You may be wondering what I use that port for, and it's for this. This here is a RCA to three and a half millimeter plug cable. And as you can see on the device, it says AV out. This Android stick will output through audio video cable which makes a huge difference in terms of being able to output in a vehicle. Any vehicle with RCA plugs in it and the ability to have a car charger that has a micro USB port to power the device can have this. So any vehicle can have this. Every vehicle pretty much has car charger ports. So if you find one of the micro USB plug, you can power the device. It doesn't have a battery built in, so it needs to be powered at all times. And that's how I had this working in my vehicle. Uh, this is not the only device on the market like this. There is another device made by the same company that makes the controller I showed you earlier. Mezi makes one called the U2C. That's U2C. I have it ordered as well and is on the way now. Um, there's some custom ROMs for it, so I want to see if they make it any different than this. This device here is the MK812, and let me tell you, this thing is fast. Uh, you'll be surprised. That rock chip processor is a new processor that just came out recently. Um, so both of those devices, the U2C and this device, have very similar specs. So you aren't going to find any major differences between them. Um, they both have the rock chip processor, same one, the A9. They both have about a gig of RAM, about 8 gigs of storage. Um, both run an Android 4.1, I believe. So there's not really going to be any differences. One thing you'll notice on this device, though, is it has a... This is a Wi-Fi external antenna port. Uh, this has Wi-Fi built in, but it also came with an external antenna. Uh, I guess if you only use it in your house to make a better Wi-Fi signal. In your vehicle, you won't need that because it's not a whole lot of room. 
uh, in your vehicle anyway, so it's not like the Wi-Fi is going to be far away. You may be wondering how I get the Wi-Fi signal in my truck, and that comes from my phone. This here is Verizon's Galaxy Nexus. Um, this is rooted, unlocked with a ROM on it. ROM has Wi-Fi access point built into it. So I can just toggle that switch on, uh, automatically goes to hotspot mode, and my Android device will automatically connect to it. Something else I want to show you that I found the other night is this. Rockchip makes a controller application for your phone. This is an APK that I downloaded online. As you can see, it has a touchpad function. Uh, you got your keyboard you can use. It's got a back button. This is a gyro sensor on and off. It also has this mode too, which is control almost like a TV remote. You got a home button, a search button, settings, volume up and down, back button, pretty much everything you need, power button. That's something I found online. If you search in Google for MK812, you will see this application. Uh, the very first link that comes up is Mini Android PC. Mini Android PC is where I download that APK from for that device, for my phone. The, I did not buy my device from Mini Android PC. My device came from an AliExpress vendor. So these lovely devices with the audio video outputs come from our friends in China. So wherever you want to buy them from, that's irrelevant to me. Just try and find the best deal you can get for either the MK812 or the Mizi U2C. Uh, neither one of these devices have U GPS in them. That's the only drawbacks. I am kind of working on something to maybe alleviate that, but you know, it'd be nice if you could use Google Maps for navigation. Um, I didn't show you my truck. I didn't need to be in my truck to show you this, but the final application in my truck is going to be in my ashtray. I currently had this installed under my armrest, plugged into the back of the RCAs using the car charger that's inside the bottom part of the armrest. I have all the wires running my ashtray now, so this will fit in the ashtray. This device is actually a little bit smaller than the U2C, which is why I bought it. But that's going to be the final application of my truck. I just got to get some of the wiring worked out. It's going to take me about a week or so before I can get to that, though, is why I went ahead and made this video. Maybe I'll make another one and show the final installation of my truck in the ashtray, but you know, I just wanted you guys to see this. You can jump out there and go ahead and do it and enjoy. Thanks, guys.